Hello, this video is to help you do in-text citation and complete an APA style reference page when you are trying to cite a YouTube video in your writing. So I'm working on my iPad today and I already have the video up in Safari. So I'm gonna press the home button and then click Safari. And here's the video I want us to watch. It's on octopuses. So let's watch really quick. Unlike human blood, octopus blood is copper based, which makes it appear blue. So I think that's a really cool fact. Octopus blood is copper based and therefore blue in color. So I'm going to hit the home button and go back to Google Docs and I want to use that in my writing. So um, because this is a reference page template and the reference page goes at the bottom of our page, I'm going to create, I'm going to hit return a couple times and create a little bit of space for my writing. Now I have already taken the liberty of writing a sentence. The blood of octopuses is copper based and therefore the color blue. So that's a really cool fact and a really cool thing that I want to include in my writing, but I need to give credit to the author of this source. So what I need to do next is I need to create my reference page. So this is the template that we're going to use for the reference page for a YouTube video. And because I want to be able to see the reference page at, or I'm sorry, the template as I'm building it, I'm going to actually copy this template. Okay. Oops. Copy that template. And then right down here, I'm going to hit a, a space and I'm going to paste it right here. All right, so now I have a copy of that template and I'm gonna erase one while looking at the other. So the first thing I need to do is find the username of um, the author. The username is the author or the publisher of the YouTube video. So I'm gonna hit the home button and go back to Safari and I can see that the publisher or the username is right here and it's Nat Geo Wild. However, if I try to copy from this link, it's just gonna copy the URL. But right above, I can see the same words, Nat Geo Wild, which is our username. So I'm gonna copy that because I'm lazy and I don't wanna write it out. I'm gonna hit the home button, go back to my Google Doc. So right here in the template is where I need to put the username. So I'm gonna delete the username, the word username that is, and I'm gonna paste in the actual username, which is Nat Geo Wild. So I have the first part of my template done, or the first part of my reference page done, Nat Geo Wild. The next thing I need, as you can see, is the year, month, and date that the video was published. So I'm gonna hit the home button, I'm gonna go back to Safari, and right down here I can see the date, August 24th, 2017. And so I'm gonna copy that date, I'm gonna hit the home button again, and go back to my Google Doc, and now I'm gonna just delete all of this year, month, date, um, template because I have it right above in the copied template. But right here, I'm gonna paste in the date. Now notice it's not in the right order. It's supposed to go year, month, date, as we can see right above. So what I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna write in 2017 here. Notice that there should be a comma and then a space and then the month and then the date. So I need to get rid of the, the year at the end of this. So I'm gonna delete the year and now I have 2017, August 24th. However, I can't have abbreviations for months. I need to write out the full name of the month. So there we go. We have the username, Nat Geo Wild, the year, 2017, the month, August, and the date, 24. You could think of the date as the day. The next thing I need, as we can see here in the template, is the title of the video. And so I'm gonna go back to the YouTube video. So I'm gonna hit the home button, go back to Safari, and right here, Octopus is 101 is the title. So I'm gonna copy the title, hit the home button, go back to my Google Doc, and now I need to put in the title of the video. So I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. Um, oops, I, I went, and I'm gonna select this, and then I'm gonna paste in the title. And notice that when I do it that way, it maintains the italicized uh, font. So we need to make sure that the title of the video is in italics, that it's slanted. All right, and if I and if I didn't do it that way and I need to italicize anything, I highlight it, I highlight the text that I want to italicize and I press this little slanted eye at the top of the screen and that changes it between normal font and italicized font. So I have my italicized title, I have the word video in brackets, I need to keep that and that tells the reader that the source was a video. The last thing I need is the streaming service. Well, I've said it a number of times in this video, 
The streaming service is YouTube. Now, you need to make sure that you write YouTube exactly how you see it on the screen, meaning that there should be a capital Y and a capital T in YouTube. And notice that I just put a space in there. Notice that there's a space after every period in the in the template and in the reference page citation. Now, if you didn't know what the streaming service was, you could press the home button, go back to Safari and find the streaming service on the page. It's right up here at the top where it says YouTube, but again, that would if I clicked on that, that would um, highlight just the URL of YouTube. And so I can go back to my template to look and see what we have to do next. The last thing we need is the URL. That's the web address. So I'm going to hit the home button. I'm going to go back to Safari and I'm going to click on the web address or the URL at the top of the screen. And notice that on my keyboard right now, um, three icons came up in the upper left hand corner, a pair of scissors, which means cut. And then the next icon is copy. I'm going to click that icon and that's just gonna copy that URL. So I'm gonna hit the home button, go back to Google Docs, and I'm going to, I was gonna to try to select that. Oh, there we go, select. And I'm gonna paste that right in there, bam. And there's my URL, and there's my complete reference page entry. I have the username, Nat Geo Wild, the year, 2017. August 24th is the month and the date. I have the title, Octopuses 101 in italics the word video in brackets to let the reader know it's a video, the streaming service, which is YouTube, and the URL, which is the web address, all right? So now my reference page entry is done, but we need to clean up this stuff. So we, what we should do is remove these templates. So I'm gonna select the last word here and then highlight up to uh, YouTube video. I'm gonna delete that, and I'm gonna come down here and um, select that URL and then uh, select up to the example and hit delete. So now that's my reference page entry. What we need to do though is right above this is we need to write the word references. And this should be um, center justified. So I hit the center justification at the top, right? To go from left, left justified to center justified. And I write the word references, right? And make sure it's not underlined or italicized or bolded. It's just the word references. Even though we only have one reference, we still use the word references. So now the last thing I need to do is I need to do my in-text citation. I need to give credit to the source that I have on my reference page. And the way I do that is I put the author's name and year of publication in parentheses at the end of the sentence. So I'm going to delete the period. I'm going to hit space and I'm going to hit my opening parenthesis. And now I'm going to be lazy again and I'm going to select... Um, the author's name, in this case, Nat Geo Wild, and the year of publication, and I'm going to hit copy, and then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to paste that inside my parentheses. Now, I'm almost done. I need that end parentheses in a period, but now I need to clean this up in the middle and get rid of, oops, oh no, okay. I need to, there should, we should write the author's name, comma, space 2017 and now that's all done however it looks like the font size is all a little bit different so i want to make sure oops i want to make sure that all the fonts the same so i'm going to hit select down here and then highlight up to the beginning of my sentence and i am going to oops. oh i'm going to hit this up here and then i'm going to make sure that all my font size is 12. All right, so I'm gonna just make sure that it's all the same font uh, size. And now I have a complete sentence. The blood of octopuses is copper-based and therefore the color blue. I have the author's name, Nat Geo Wild, the year of publication, 2017 in my sentence. Notice that the author's name, Nat Geo Wild, is in the in-text citation here in parentheses, but it also matches the first thing listed on the reference page. So those always have to match. The first thing listed on the reference page, like here, Nat Geo Wild, matches what we see in the in-text citation, Nat Geo Wild. So now this would be a perfect citation and um, a great way to cite your sources using APA style. As always, ask your teacher if you have any questions.